Hey everyone, this is the Blue Fire 12, and welcome to my first redstone invention in Minecraft. Yes, my first one, and this was inspired by Seth Bling because he just makes amazing stuff, and I started studying redstone basically. And so, yeah, I just did that, and I made this just really simply, just a few clocks and stuff. So, yeah, did that because of Seth Bling. So, yeah video dedicated to Seth playing. So anyway, this invention is basically just a door that will open when you have all of these levers flipped the right way. So basically it's a combination lock. Um, I forgot to put the signs back up. But that's okay, this one's one, two, and three. And for this one, I know the code, so it should be pretty easy for me. You have to have this one on, this one on, this one on, this one on, and this one on. And it will open. See? Now, the thing is, these only have three because over here, you'll see, the basically, this whole thing is just three big AND gates all put together. But the thing is, I this could be like that side, but the thing is, um, it's just takes up a lot more space, and it Basically, if you even had these here, it wouldn't do anything. See, they're just dummies because they have that there, and I really didn't feel like changing it at that point in time. But it's not made to be a hard puzzle. It's just made to be um, just kind of a first invention thing. So, yeah. So, yeah, I have a little hint right here, every other one. So, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And then I have 9, which is all of these added up, and 6, which is all of these added up. Again, it's not made to be a hard puzzle. But anyway, see, the thing I like about this is if you flip any of them, any of the tor or any of them, the levers, the wrong way, it will close. See? See, even these, um, even this one, that doesn't even matter to the thing, if it's down or powered, it will cut it off. And why that's happening is because, um, see, these three are on. All right, let's just go ahead and turn them all off. I'll explain this to you guys. All right, so let's start with this side. So this is an AND gate. And basically what an AND gate is, is you have to have this one, this one, and this one on all at the same time for it to have an output. So that lever depowers this, which all of these torches are powering, all three of them are powering this block. So even if you only have one on, it'll still be powering this block. So you have to have all of them turned off, which is where the three levers come in. You turn them all on, and all of these torches turn off, and this turns off, and this, this block isn't powered anymore so this redstone torch turns on and basically it's the same with both sides and so this just goes down here and what this does is this powers this block and which turns off this torch and this is just another AND gate as you can see it's the same as this right here and this is the same thing as the other side you just have to have that See, that one turns off, and then if you do the other one, that one turns off. This one turns on, goes all the way down here. Turns this block on, which turns this off, which makes this go off. Which makes this turn on, and split into two ways. Um, both are extended with repeaters. And both are exactly the same on each side. And so what happens is it splits into two paths, and one goes into this block right here, um, this one, and the other one goes up here into this block right here. And what that does is basically the pistons are being powered right now, and when they are depowered, they will pull away, and when they are powered again, they will go back into the closed position. But when they are not powered they um, are in the open position. So I had to figure out a way to um, not power them by turning off these redstone torches. Which is actually pretty easy with just turning off the block that they're on. 
and this one turns on that one, that one turns on that one. So basically, hold on, let me show you, see? That, that one's off. Yep. There we go. So, it's getting towards nighttime out here. But anyway, it's the exact same thing on this side, basically the exact same design, I think. And so it just goes into these, turns that off, turns that off, and it opens the door at the exact same time. So yeah. And then there's a chest with a bunch of loot that I put in there. You guessed right, your prize. Yay, we did it. Woohoo. So yeah, if um I might even use this on like a map that I make, I don't know. So yeah, every other one. Yeah, there we go. And it's open. If you I tried to put carpet here, but it it, it messed with the pistons. It didn't like it. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's basically it. It's about to turn daytime. See, this is my daylight sensor over here. It's about to be daytime. But, um, so yeah, that's my design for Lay Door. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took me a while to make, so if you guys could like and maybe subscribe and maybe favorite it, that would be awesome. You guys would be my favorites. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed this, and maybe, actually, I probably should put it up for a download link, but, okay, here's what I'm going to do. If anyone asks for a download link, I will give it to you guys in the description, but if no one asks, I'm not, I'm not going to put it in there, because this is really a really simple contraption you could do in maybe like 10 minutes if you know how to do it, but it took me like two hours to make this without knowing how to do it. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Bye now.